how to survive on an irregular budget. Hmm. To keep me clean. Stop the devil watching over me. Let's penetrate deep, deep. Got my skin. Hello, good people. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to yet another video. This is the fourth episode of the budget series. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how to survive on an irregular income. Have you been in a situation whereby you have an income but it's not consistent and you have monthly expenses? Comment down below on how you have managed that situation. But in today's video, we are going to share a few tips that can help you when you're managing such a budget. So let's do this. The first thing is figure out your monthly expenses and list them down. Remember, some of your monthly expenses may be consistent, but your income is not consistent. So you have to find a balancing act. So when you list them down, you will be able to ensure that you know at the very least you have to work extra hard to be able to meet the basic expenses and it is important to always remember that saving is also an important basic expense we cannot emphasize that enough the next thing is you can try to work around a zero-sum budget what is a zero-sum budget it is a budget whereby you are just breaking even basically your income is equals to your expenditure but remember sometimes that income being that is that it is inconsistent may not be breaking even so what do you do in that case if you have an irregular income it means some months you make some more money some you make less money so on the months that you have made extra than your main budget, you can always put that money aside and use it during when there are deficits. Don't feel like you have become rich and now you can spend all the money that you have made this month because maybe you have made twice or thrice your normal income. I mean, that has just reduced your stress maybe for two or three months so just ensure it goes into a saving pot we can call it a pot in a way that you do not just use it because that money is there but you put it aside for when you're not able to meet your basic expenses the other key thing is you need to be conscious that since your income is not consistent you need to build your saving kitty because in case of the month that maybe there's even no income and like when you're certain of a monthly income when you're not very certain it is important to have a fund which will fit in when there is a gap comment down below if you have a fund which can fit into your expenses if you don't have an income say this month and this applies to employed and self-employed persons it doesn't mean that because you have a job today you will have it tomorrow so as we create um, an emergency fund it applies to anyone who has an income and expenses maybe you have an income without expenses but as long as you have an income and expenses you should be very conscious of the fact that if that income is taken away how you're going to survive comment down below with the number of months you can survive without a salary or an income the biggest injustice you can do to yourself is not tracking your expenses whether you have a stable or unstable or inconsistent 
income. The moment you're cognizant of how your expenses are, you will be able to allocate and even work harder to make that money so that you're able to meet your monthly expenses. So the next thing is, if you're not on a paycheck, you need to you need to make adjustments to your expenses on payday. Say, for instance, you have done some work and you're expecting some checks. So when the checks are paid, you should ensure that they are in line with your expenses. If, for instance, this time the income is lesser than the previous month, you need to be cognizant that you still have to survive within your budget. Another key important thing when you have an irregular income is you can only budget for what either you're expecting or what you have at hand. So it is advisable that you create a monthly budget every month. And like when you have a consistent income, then you will be able to have a clear budget. That will mean you have to be making adjustments here and there. What we have said, in case the income is high this month, in case the income is less the next month, you'll be able to get a balancing act. And remember, don't think that you're rich on the month that you have made a lot of money. The next thing is, if, you don't, if your income is inconsistent, you can consider getting a hustle which will give you a consistent income to at the very least meet your basic expenses. So don't focus only on the main income source. You can always get an income source which will assure you of monthly income. Remember, whether you're making money or not, your monthly expenses and your monthly bills have to be paid. So it is all up to you to take charge of your budget. Before I continue with the tips, I forgot to highlight what are the specific irregular incomes. Um, I'll just highlight a few. There's self-employment income. There's commission-based income. There's quarterly or annual basis bonuses. There are tips in the service industry. There's part-time work with irregular hours. There's seasonal work. For instance, when uh, you get uh, contracts on different um, periods of maybe the year. Then there's also stock options. There's stock purchase plans. Yeah, such kind are the irregular income and any other uh, businesses, uh, for instance, where you sell a service and that service is maybe required only once a year. And like when you're in business and you're selling a product, you can always find yourself selling one or two products um, during the month or thereabout. But if you offer a certain service which is required once a year, then you see you're stuck with only that service. Yes. So let's move to the next. The next thing is regularly evaluate and reevaluate your expenses. For instance, if for a certain period of time, maybe your income was reasonably high and it was meeting your expenses, then you may be able to continue sustaining the same level of expenses. But if at some point you realize that your income has reduced maybe significantly, you may need to have adjustments. If you watched our previous video, and even if you have not watched, you can check it out. We discussed on ways you can try and cut on your basic expenses. Remember at this point, we are not looking at ways of cutting wants. We are looking at ways of cutting needs. Because if your income is irregular and there are some needs you are not able to meet, then it means you are not even going to get to the wants. So 
evaluate and reevaluate. If you need to make adjustments, just make them for the time being as you grow your income. The next uh, thing we would think of a way of working around with uh, an unstable income or irregular income, you can always budget in terms of percentages. So if, for instance, you can say when the income is good, this is how our menu is going to look like. When the income is good, these are the things we are going to shop. You can do away. Uh, clothing is a basic expense, but you don't have to shop for clothes every single month or every other day. So those ones can be adjusted maybe when the income is higher or sufficient. And when it's low, you just have the, the expense at zero. For instance, when it comes to foodstuffs, there are those preferences that people have and you can always give up some of the goodies that you enjoy. You can give up eating out and so many other small, small expenses, which will make you still live within your means. Remember the moment you live beyond your means, then you're losing control of your financial stability. And that is the time you need to come back and review your budget. Remember, it is not too late to just go back and check what, um, what is making you lose track of your expenses. The other important thing as a self-employed person is to pay yourself a salary. Remember, um, in business, you have the business and you have yourself. As much as you would say you're doing the business, you need the capital to continue doing the business. So when income comes in abundance, it should not seem like, oh, it's time to party, it's time to celebrate. If you have a standard paycheck, you will be able to continue managing without having that excitement of the extra money that has come through because of maybe a better transaction or a better deal or a better better returns on your investments the other thing is whenever you have excess on your income save it you need to save 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 we will never get tired of saying you need to save for that rainy day there are some expenses you cannot do without so you have to ensure they are cushioned the rule is you should at the very least have three to six months worth of living in case you lose your income. Basically, people say that you might take six months maybe to get to your next job or if you're lucky, maybe immediately or the next three months. So between that period of transitioning from your current job, maybe a job loss happens and the next job, can you survive for three six months or how long can you survive comment down below if you have not worked on your finances and you cannot survive for at the very least three months you need to reevaluate your focus and just be cognizant and conscious that anything can happen and your income can be taken away for instance you don't have to be sacked or fired or maybe your contract ended if you're in business but you can get maybe unwell and you're not able to work for a few months, for a few weeks. And you see, you if especially you're providing a service, a personalized service, it means when you're not able to work, then you are not making money. So be very cognizant and conscious of what is around you. And also look at tomorrow. Don't just have your life paycheck to paycheck look at what if and create your saving which can work for you i think the last thing we're going to talk about is and this applies to whether you have regular or irregular income is that you should always ensure that you separate your spending money with your savings that way you will be assured of savings but we always say that if you want to really be committed to savings, 
then you need to automate your savings by placing a standing order or just ensuring that this money is going to your account every other month so let it not be a surprise that this month i'm saving next month i will be saving and all that so yeah so if you have any questions comments and feedback feel free to comment down below feel free to join our social media pages facebook instagram tiktok and we can continue interacting there but of course you can always comment down below once again this video is a request by one of our subscribers and we really appreciate your feedback and your requests and be assured that every time you request for a video we will try as much as possible to share the, the insights we will try as much as possible to share the video within the shortest time so do not hesitate to request for a video of course to support this channel we want to grow our subscribers and grow the channel so you can subscribe down below and you can also join the membership and you can also super chat through down below there's a thanks a dollar sign so you can always super chat us and we will appreciate you can also sponsor any of our videos and if you'd like us to host you on this channel please don't hesitate to reach out to us and we will be glad to have you on the channel thank you so much for watching this video if you're new kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video for the returning viewers and subscribers thank you so much for your continued support we value you thank you for always coming back to watch our videos and your feedback see you on our next one bye Love.